Hello, it's Rob Lawton at the Piano Shop here, bringing you another conversation with Nuri. Throughout 2021, concert pianist Nuri Lee started collaborating with us at the Piano Shop in our endeavour to showcase our instruments performing at their very best. As a pianist with a wide classical repertoire, Nuri subjected our instruments to her demanding hands, carefully selecting scores that reflected the type of instrument. The objective of our videos is to portray more than simply the quality of the sound. It is also to convey to potential customers how the instruments respond to fast passages, light and heavy playing, repetitive notes, trills and controllability. Over her career, she's played hundreds of pianos in schools, practice rooms, colleges, studios and concert halls. When we engaged Nuri to test drive our pianos at the piano shop, she was able to judge with some authority the quality of our instruments. This was especially important with her background of playing well-tempered traditional acoustic instruments that are a regular feature of her professional work. During 2021, Nuri played nearly a hundred of our shop floor pianos, all of the instruments that she played have been videoed and are featured on our YouTube channel. Before a recording session, it is essential that our experienced technicians sign off each instrument in terms of setting up the piano's action, regulation and ensuring that it is tuned to concert pitch. It's for this reason that Nuri has yet to come across an unfavourable instrument at the shop. She certainly has her favourites, however, which are usually those that display the dynamics found in larger grand pianos. We sat down with Nuri and asked her for her thoughts on the many pianos that she had experienced at the shop. So let's hear what she had to say. In the piano shop, the pianos that I've played on, um, well, to start with, all of them, I guess, because they they just feel brand new, um, from the surface, like actual keys, to when you press them, the depression of them, um, to the sound, and of course, you know, the tuning and the you know the basic stuff. It's all, it feels very new, um, but of course, each piano, and I've. I think I've always felt like this with like, you know, any piano that I've tried. Each one distinctively has its own um, like personality, its own unique sound, uh, touch, regardless of the sort of make they are. Um, of course, you know, grand pianos and uprights are slightly uh, different. But um, yeah, I think in the piano shop, I think it was really interesting because I tried out lots of different pianos, um, you know, like next to each other. And you can just hear, uh, they're all, you know, extremely high quality, but you can just hear the sort of, um, the difference, like, the subtle differences. You can feel the subtle difference in the sound, with the one slightly brighter, one slightly has a deeper sound, um, with the touch is, you know, lighter, heavier, uh, in the middle. So, um, yeah, I don't know, it's really interesting to... Sort of play all the different pianos. Nuri, are there any particular pianos that stand out in your memory of the nearly 100 pianos you have played in the shop? Um, for sure. I think it's, uh, I don't know, because when I'm here, I genuinely feel like I'm sort of spoiled <laughs> with the amount of um, like great pianos to play on. Um, because I, you know, I've played on a lot of uh, pianos and obviously like huge concert grands. Um, to you know, just like a, a practice pod, a piano in a practice pod, or you know, in a train station or something. Um, but yeah, when I came, when I come here to like play the pianos, I do feel like all of them, like you know, have has a great standard. Um, but I think a few stand out. Um, maybe for the grand pianos, in terms of the sound um, and the tone that comes out, it's like really singing. You can. Um, 
you don't have to do too much, you can just press it in a certain way and it just uh, sings. Um, and I think normally it takes me quite a bit to get used to the piano. So let's say I have to, if I have to perform something, then I, I would ideally like to just warm up on the piano just to see how it sounds. Um, and it takes me uh, a little bit to like warm up to the piano and get used to the sound so then I can alter um, you know, a little bit to make the music come, uh, come alive. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting to like play different pianos next to each other because you just have to quickly do that. But you can really feel the difference in each piano. Does the fact that the piano shop in Bath has nine individual showrooms over two floors rather than the single cavernous room found in most other piano shops help the customer to choose and assess which piano is right for them? Oh, different. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think you can, um, I mean, because there's such a range of pianos here, you can sort of, you can definitely, um, like even just visually sing a piano and then hear it being played and then like playing it yourself and the physical touch of it. Um, I think they are so unique that, and like having them in different places, you can definitely like visualize and see if, you know, if it'll like fit in with your, fit in at home. Um, or like fit into your style of style of playing as well. Um, yeah, each each piano seems to have its own like sort of, sort of aesthetic or its own uh, sound as well. Um, and I think its own personality. I really do believe that because it's like I'm the same player, even if I play the same piece of music um, on all the different pianos, it'll come out differently. Um, so yeah, I think that that's a really interesting concept. When you first sit at a fresh piano, does it evoke a particular feeling that might say, ah, for this I shall play some Brahms or Beethoven or Liszt? Yeah, I do, for sure. I think when I first sit down on the piano, I'm then thinking, ah, oh, okay, you know, let's, let's try this. So that kind of like excitement, it's, especially if it's a different piano, it's a new piano, then I'm like, okay, let's, let's, try, let's try this piano. Um, and then once I play it, you know, start playing it, then I'm like, ooh, this, you know, a piece of Bach would sound amazing on this. Or, you know, a piece of um, Chopin would work so beautifully with the piano. Um, I guess as performers, we're taught to sort of be able to play anything on any piano because, you know, we're given one piano and you just have to make it work. But definitely there are um, pianos that, you know, some pieces or some composers would really, you know, go well together um, with it, for sure. As you get a lot of um, people like... A lot of concert pianists, and you get some like Horowitz, and there's a famous pianist called Pletnev who literally take their own grand piano that they practice on from home and take it to their venues, and they'll only play on that. And that one's been specially altered. So, for example, they want a lighter touch and then like a booming bass or something like that, um, because they can then control the sound uh, as best as they can, and their the hands are used to it. So, they have one piano and they'll only play on that and they'll perform on that. So, then um, they think they'll be able to deliver the best music um, through that instrument. Um, but yeah, I guess like in my case, because I've been, you know, pla <laughs> playing in different uh, practice rooms and also here just like playing in different pianos, you, it, you definitely have to sort of, um, you have to try and f like play with the piano always. So you always have to feel how the um, the keys are sounding, how they um the tone of the piano and they just play with it yeah and then um regardless of the piece and then again same with like different pianos and then you sort of hear uh some some pianos um you can really like feel the ringing like the big grand pianos we play big huge chords and you know with a huge range you can feel that like the vibrations of the instrument um really singing yeah and then some you can like make it much more intimate I know myself from playing pianos in pubs, clubs, village halls, grannies and aunties lounges over the years that some old upright pianos can result in quite a disappointment. But here at the shop, it has rekindled my faith in the quality of acoustic pianos available today. Oh, must, yeah, no, I completely agree. And also, um, like even the uprights or whatever, small uprights, you can play huge concertos on it because the whole... Um, 
the the sound really gives. You know, you can um, yeah, for sure. I've played in uh, concerts where I'm like, oh, I can't possibly play this piece. It's like a huge virtuosic piece where the keys and you play them so fast, um, and you know some of the keys might not come up quickly in time. Um, where you know, or like some that like lacks the sound and the power that you want from the instrument. Um, but honestly, on any single piano I can go on here, you can I can play anything. I can play you know, Tchaikovsky Concerto. I can play um, in the fast list etudes, uh, a small classical piece. You know, you can play anything. And I think um, it's like that sort of like um, versatility. I guess you can play that. You can um, I don't know, like really use the instrument to its full uh, to its full potential. Um, I think you can do that with every single instrument because it has all of uh, the grounded, like the tuning, the pedaling, the tone and the touch is all there. So you can, yeah, and then you can really explore with colours. I think that's the next level. So like, um, experience, experiment with the sound on each individual piano. Yeah. Let's take a look at a few highlights of some of Nuri's performances on the selected pianos that show not only her versatility, but the versatility of the instruments, old and new. We must add that all older instruments will have been fully restored to an as-new condition while retaining the charm of the original instrument. <laughs> 